What's going on guys? This is Daniel here at Blue Collar Training. And today I wanted to talk about something that I get a lot of questions about too. Uh, my last video was about what kind of protein to take. And today, this is also something that a lot of people ask me whether or not they should get, uh, whether or not it's worth the money. And that's, um, BCAAs or amino acids, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, uh, basically, I don't think BCAAs or amino acids are worth the money. They're just, it's basically just proteins. You can get it from any food source. You can get it from steak, salmon, chicken, eggs, whatever your preference. It's very easy to get the same essential amino acids and whatever other amino acids you're putting into your body from that product. Very easy to get in an actual food source. And a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people don't really pay attention to the actual food source as their primary, as what they should really be focusing on. And I think that's where a lot of people are mistaken because a supplement is exactly that. It's supposed to be supplementary. It's supposed to help you. It's not supposed to be your base. So you can take all the supplements in the world, but it's not gonna replace real food. It never will. So that being said, BCAs or amino acids or EAAs, essential amino acids, whatever you take or want or see that's advertised to you, um, I feel like it does have its place in when you're dieting, when you're in actual caloric deficit. So you, that means you're, you're burning more calories than you eat. So you're eating very little. Well, I wouldn't say very little, but you're eating less. Um, you're trying to lose weight, which what I think most people that ask me for advice or watching, maybe probably watching this, they want to lose fat, get in shape, maybe gain some muscle. You know, they're not really advanced. That's not, they're mostly beginner, intermediate. They just want to look good and feel good. And that's what I tell them that if they do decide to go the BCA route or EAA or amino acids, if they do decide to get that, then it does have its place in dieting and I use it. So the way I use it is something to basically kill my cravings because they're usually coming in like sweet flavors like mango, lemonade, whatever you want. And that really works for me. So if I'm eating smaller meals throughout the day or especially if I'm at work, I don't really have the luxury of when I'm hungry, go get something to eat and come back because I'm working 12 hour shifts and I have, you know, most people are busy and I can be doing something for about a four hour time span where I don't have, I can't just leave or I can't just go and get food, but I can have something to drink on me. And that's where my amino acids will come in. Um, that's, just a good way of giving your body some extra aminos and basically just keeping your your body from going into starvation mode. Um, but other than that, I don't really think you should bother with it. I mean, like I said, they a lot of them taste great and they're a great kind of, you know, way to satisfy your sweet tooth when you're dieting and they're you know it's a better alternative to actual sugar or whatever cravings and you're still getting some um, aminos in there or some some uh, maybe some essential aminos and I guess for for some people too that just don't eat a lot of meat or they just don't like eating a lot of meat or they have digestion issues or something like that, then maybe that'd be something more that they can lean towards. But then if that was the case too, I would more recommend a protein shake. 
because it has more protein in general. And, but like I said, it's it's all about preference. If you like them and you want to keep using them, don't really expect any crazy results because I used to drink aminos religiously, especially when I was a teenager. I would have them pre-workout, intra-workout, you know, post-workout throughout the day. And I spent a lot of money on them. And I just kind of, I always kind of thought for like a good year or two that they were helping me, but I didn't really see any crazy differences. I didn't, I didn't see any gains or anything like that. Like I thought I was because I was adding more protein, but that's not necessarily the case. Um, you can do way better with just, even just chicken breasts, adding an extra meal, um, training hard, being consistent in the gym, you know, properly resting, sleeping, all that, doing all that stuff and actually learning my, learning, you know, how to train properly, how to sleep, how to recover, all those things when I started doing all those things more efficiently and more effectively, and I was consistent, that's when I really started seeing a large amount of muscle gains. And that's when I really started putting on strength and size and you know, eating whole foods and whole meals and more steak and chicken and eggs and stuff like that. But I hope that kind of helps somebody, you know, so you don't, if you're looking at buying like a big a tub of amino acids for, I don't know, however much you're selling for, I haven't really looked lately, but 30, $40, just, just buy food. It's just better. Um, you're gonna get a lot more nutritional value. You're gonna get, it, you're gonna get the actual benefits of the, whole food itself instead of just the aminos. So I hope that helps somebody. Um, if you like the video, like, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys maybe learned something and took something away from this video. So anyway, that's it.